Hello, my name is Andrew Briggs. I'm one of the developers of DataBank. Today I will be demonstrating how you can create a consignment using DataBank. To begin with the program open, click on New Consignment. If it is a new consigner, you would click here on the New Consigner button to add the consigner's information but for this example I'm going to go ahead and select one that we already have in our system. Now we're going to add this consigner's inventory items. To begin I'm going to add new item by clicking on the add new item button. If you keep track of your inventory using item numbers that are defined already you can use them here or you can tell the program in tools options using the menu bar that you would like this number to be automatically generated. For this example I'm going to go ahead and use 102 and describe the consigner's item. This is a taxable item. There are additional inventory fields that you can use if you need to keep track of more information. But for this example, all I need is the description for the product. The consigner would like to receive $50 for the item. They didn't specify a minimum price and they would like it sold within 60 days. If not, then I would have to return it to them. Um, you could use starting price if you use online auctions or another type of sale where you have to keep track of what the actual price started as. But for this example, we don't need that. So we're going to add this item to this consigner's consignment by clicking on the green arrow. If I was going to add multiple items to this consignment, I could continue to add the inventory in here. And like I mentioned, I'll show you how to have this number automatically generated if you don't use it. Um, but if you were to use a barcode scanner or something like that, you would, you would use that number here. Uh, but for this example, we're just adding one item, but you can continue to add them as you, as, you know, depending on how many items a consigner has. So I don't charge a fee initially to sell my products if I did I would specify that information here then how the customer paid or the consigner paid uh, but for this example I've finished creating this consignment so I'm going to save and print the invoice for the consigner